Um, hello again. It is me, Justin. Um, real quick, I just started playing my Final Fantasy 13 game again, and I've been freaking reminded, reminded of how freaking hard this game was. Okay, usually, throughout my last couple of videos, I just talked about reviews of KH2, I was calm and all that, but this one, I am truly PO'd at. Why? Freaking Bartanalus! He is the worst boss to face on the first try. I know why. He has four heads that deal magic attacks, and if you deal you know, any magic attack that, has, that corresponds with the same element your enemy's using, it's gonna absorb it. It. Oh, and if you kill the first two heads or just take too long on one of them, Bartanos will just upgrade the magic on it and uh, to raw. And then again, when you only at, when you destroy the last, when it's, basically I'm saying that if you destroy when the last head is standing, and it's going to use gut attacks. When you get when you finally get the Bartanos, yes, he's just going to freaking. He can spam Ruin God and Baptism in Ruin, meaning that he'll just multicast Ruin. And that's not fair. Here. Also, he uses Xanatosian Smile, a multi at move, but luckily it doesn't deal too much damage to me. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully. But here's the other part. Um, he also has a move called Destrudo. Once he starts charging, your freaking Stagger Gauge resets. Yes, meaning that you're going to have to stagger him again. I've only staggered him about once this boss fight. Once! You hear me? Once! And that's not fair, because every time when I'm getting close to him, he uses Destrudo. Oh, even when he's staggered, he'll reset the chain gauge. You know, chain staggers, gauge, whichever. He is cheap. Eep, and will often use Destrudo in this fight. Oh, and when I was fighting him, I was was going to see if I could just change into another Paradigm real quick. It's probably it. To, like, uh, strengthen my party. But when I switched on my... And you know what? This was the first try, by the way. But when I switched on my first try into another Paradigm, he immediately attacked me. That cheap jerk. I had to restart the fight thanks to him. Oh yeah, guess how many potions I had? About 45. I had to use every single one of them just to stay alive. He deals a... You know, he deals a... He deals megaton damage right there. You know, heck, he deals a crap ton of damage, to be honest. I purely hate Bartandalus. He is one of the most cheapest bosses. And look how much ex experience... Like, Christian you get. 6,000. That's ridiculous. 6,000... For that, it took me about 16 minutes to defeat him. Now, that's almost double all the target time right there. Almost. If it was 10 seconds more, it would have been doubled. And look at this. Points per second. 20. Um, shouldn't I have gotten a bit of a higher score than that? Points per second. 20. And the score was 280. I will say this, he's cheap, even if you're capped. I had Lightning, Hope, and Fang all capped, all the way to the capped levels for all the rolls. But still, oh, this fight was cheap. Yep. Square Enix, Enix, I will say this, you created one of the most cheapest bosses ever. A boss that uses, uses a lot of attacks that deal a lot of damage, damage, and multi hits, and plus that's a move that he'll just oftenly spam minute after minute. It. <laughs> Green Enix is really, really just ruined, R ruined that game, be this game because of this fight. Thankfully, only the other two are a little bit more simpler. Simpler. I swear I had. You know what, when I first played this game, I died at him more than once. Probably at two times. Luckily, this has decreased by one. One death for me, for this fight. And if somehow Square Enix finds this video, listen to me, Square Enix. 
for the next Final Fantasy game, do not make a boss that deals a lot of damage and spams their, their high-powered moves. It is not right. Eat. Oh yeah, and I heard about this one thing. Square be fair. Yeah, I know about the limited edition thing, sort of, of the Kingdom Hearts game, but I really don't care. Do not ruin Final Fantasy XV. And also another question. Why the heck is the next Final Fantasy game, Type Zero, that's coming out in March, M-rated? Square Enix has never released an M-rated version of a Final Fantasy game, ever. Anyways, this was my max health. Well, first try, and when I, my, my health was full for lightning, he instantly killed me. Yes. I get... Oh yeah, another situation with this game. The spoils you get. They're meager as heck! Why do so many enemies have to have so much HP, and why does there have to be so much restriction? Anyways, I don't know all about you guys, but I'll just let you watch this se sequence right here. Well, you know what? No. I'm just a little bit too mad. If you want to see somebody else do this fight probably better than me, like on their first try, then go watch their channel, okay? A suggestion from me to you. Ooh. Alright? And I recommend, if anyone likes Final Fantasy, do not play this game! Because you'll have to face him at Chapter 9. And that's the worst. This is Soul Fusion 925. And that's my gamer tag, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Signing out. Good. Bye. And I'm not playing this game for another few months. I've only... And real quick, I only... The last time I played this was back in August of 2014. Anyways, my game is like Soul Fusion 925, and I will see you later. Goodbye.